My response video to this stupid guy called Postmodern Anomaly or something. Um, you know, he made a, uh, an earlier video, 10 minute video, I was going to respond to it, but fuck that. Uh, it was a bunch of crap anyway, he's all cliches and bullshit. Um, just a typical, ignorant, arrogant twat. I mean, he thinks he knows something, he doesn't know shit. He just makes fucking accusations, it's just the same bullshit. All right, so anyway, related to that, I'll, I'll post a link, you know, to a video on the hard philosophy stuff. Um, it's just, it ended up being 12 or 15 minutes or something, so it's going on the other channel. I'm just not going to bother making two-part videos if I can avoid it. Um, just one of the walk and talk things. Um, but just, you know, these assholes in the comments, they complain. Uh, oh, these, this video, you know, why don't you make the solution videos again? Or why don't you do this? Or why don't you do that? Or why, you, you know, just all this bullshit. You know, you know they don't they don't get it and as I'll point out in this video I mean there's things you can do they're like 5% solutions and there's like 15% solutions and there's like 50% solutions all right it's really hard to come up with a 100% solution um, but there's all kinds of philosophy to argue okay there's the end of the you go all the way up the philosophical ladder I'll say you're gonna get to the conclusion that this is all bullshit if you have the balls to walk that ladder all right, and, you know, most people aren't going to have the balls, but it's worth talking about. All right, and I'm going to talk about it because it's part of the truth. It's a description of reality. Well, anyway, I'll just I'll get to his fucking god. He's so typical of the assholes you have to deal with. They bring nothing to the table, absolutely nothing, not one rational bit of anything. They talk, they use words like faith. They're atheists, and they use stupid fucking words like faith. A uh, phrase which I think could be used in this situation, and that is shit or get off the pot, right? Oh, that's just so original. What is that, about 7,000 year old uh, phrase? See, why don't you get something else from your granddad? Because you are constantly arguing that there's no hope for humanity and, you know, all this nonsense. And yet. Oh, right. There's got there's, uh, f over 1,500 videos. Is that what all the 1,500 videos are about, you stupid twat? Are, is it? So you're just talking shit. You're just a, you're just a sub whore, right? You're just making this fucking video because you don't have any subs and you want somebody to take an interest in your fucking bullshit. Well, I'm taking my fucking interest. This is and this is the door is going to open and then I'm going to close the door on your big fat ass. You provide no solutions. No solutions. Retard. You're just a fucking retard. Posting the link to the Do Not God website. Right on the home page, there's 12 other fucking YouTube channels. Channels where I'm actually paying people to come up with a fucking idea, you dumb retard. I have provided more solution videos than anybody else on YouTube. Go find somebody that's provided more solutions to problems than I have, you dumb shit. I've explained the democracy and the flaws in it. Instant runoff voting, getting rid of the geographic bias in our voting districts blows the two-party system up, makes it a real representative democracy. I've explained how the fucking economy works, okay, and how the fact is we gotta get rid of this fucking debt thing, we just gotta wipe it out and start over, we, gotta have, a, we have to have a 10-year plan to do that, we gotta change this whole rich people, poor people equation a little bit and balance the power, blah, blah, blah. On every right to die, I mean, on every fucking subject, I've offered goddamn practical, pragmatic goddamn solutions. Fuck you, you stupid ass. Why don't you do a little bit of research before you open your dumb, slimy fucking mouth? Solutions, and that's so easy to do. And you claim my position is the one dressed up in pink. I think your situation is the weaker one, sir, and, and I'll tell you why. Yeah, you're not going to tell me why. You're not going to say one goddamn thing. You're just going to throw more cliches out because you think you're some brave philosopher. You're not brave. You're a coward and an asshole. Do some fucking research or you shut the fuck up. Your uh, uh, position is ideologically castrating, okay? <sighs> Because you're saying there's this situation... Ideologically castrating. Oh, yeah, right. So that's, that's your counter-argument to the truth argument I've made, is that you say it's ideological castration. Even if it fucking was, if it was the goddamn truth, it wouldn't goddamn matter. So why don't you argue the facts of our biology? Why don't you argue the facts of evolution? Why don't you argue a goddamn fact instead of just arguing your platitudes and your bullshit? And instead of providing a solution, you say there's nothing you can do about it. 
So you, sir, are basically accepting impotence. Whatever. Then the universe is impotence. It's not my fucking goddamn anything, okay? It's a description of reality. If you have a counter explanation for the reality, then provide it, fucker. I've made the simple argument that there is no need for the original creation of need. Okay, and we know where the creation came from. It came from that biological organism that had this um, agenda of consumption and reproduction. That inevitably, you do enough permutations, that inevitably will lead to a sentient organism that's going to have a welfare that's going to be important, a need to be cared for, a need to have um, uh, some thought gone into its, 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 its condition. Okay, it's going to be able to it's going to be able to experience a positive and a negative circumstance. No other bit of matter can do that. Only a sentience can. All right. So you explain to me the need that was satisfied by that fucking event, jackass. And so if you're going to eliminate need in the universe, the easiest thing to do is just stop creating it, you dumb fuck. If you don't have any if you don't have a next generation of sentient creatures, well guess what? You don't have a next generation of things capable of being vulnerable to the word need. You stupid shit. Okay? My position isn't the one dressed up in pink. I'm saying let's go forward, let's take uh -huh. on the future. Yours is the Take it on with what? You don't have an argument. I can make a whole bunch of arguments to you that there is no fucking future. All right, that the, the equation of, of technology and our violent nature, we haven't even gotten past that yet, you dumb fucked hard. We're still fighting wars, like that's a practical thing that can happen in the future. Why don't you describe me the Star Wars scenario where human beings can have access to unlimited powerful technology without blowing their planet up? Why don't you explain how that's going to fucking work, you stupid twat? situation where you're saying well let's just sit by and let the world burn you know? yeah well uh, you gotta do the cigarette thing right because what you're a little you, you're such a fucking pussy um but anyway uh yeah, yeah go find that quote you dumb shit uh when when do i ever when you're not gonna find one quote of me ever saying everybody should just sit by and do nothing no i'm the one saying they should be voting they should be picking up pitchforks they should be fighting for something and ultimately in the end the intellectuals are going to have to inform the retards like you okay that even if we perfect this thing it's still bullshit it's still a fucking pig's ass i mean you can decorate it all you want but it's still a pig's ass you know that's why I'm saying be positive, be constructive. Because if you're not being constructive... Well, look, the two things are different. There's no point in being positive if somebody's raping you, okay? What's the constructive uh, reaction to the rapist? Oh, please, yeah, no, throw up on me, yeah, then shit on me. And, uh, yeah, you know, wipe your boogers on me. Yeah, I'll be positive about that. Or is it the more constructive reaction to be as well? So let's find out what makes this guy work and cut him the fuck off. Amendum, you're being destructive. All you are providing, Amendum, is basically angry rants. Yeah, and you're just providing ad hominem nonsense, just nonsense rhetoric. You're a you're a pessimistic duty head. I say the glass is half full and because I say it, it must be right because my mommy once told me I have a perfect anus. I mean, fuck you. You know what? You have bring nothing to the table. You have no credentials. You have no fucking argument. Who the fuck should take you seriously, you stupid twat? No, actually, it's not even an angry rant. It's a it's bitching disguised as angry rants, okay? Yeah, well, go ahead. You're a leaky ass, okay? You're just taught you're a drippy, leaky ass, okay? We'll just exchange little bullshit, because that's all you're capable of. You can't come up with a real fucking rational argument uh, that doesn't have faith or magic or, well, let's all just, let's all just sing a song and everything be okay. My position isn't the one dressed in pink, sir, okay? Shit or get off the pot. <sighs> Either. Ooh, the second shot at the... Like I said, the 600-year-old, 700, I think Noah said that, you know, fucking idiot. They used to shit in pots. That's how fucking old that is. You know how fucking old that is? They were saying that back when they used to shit in a goddamn pot. Provide something that makes the world better since it's so horrible or shot. 
Yeah, like I said, you're telling me to shut up. Like I said, what have you put up? You've put up nothing, absolutely nothing. And if you ever try to put up something now, you're going to have me on your fucking ass, you stupid fucking twat. <laughs> so anyway, God, what an asshole. I mean, we could have had a conversation here to just be a complete motherfucking prick. So, uh, yeah, our, conver our civil conversation is now the fuck over. And, uh, <laughs> you know... Um, you've, you've opened the door to what might be your worst nightmare, <laughs> because you're not going to be able to open your mouth without me scrutinizing everything that comes out of it. So start growing a brain, because you're going to really fucking need one. Alright, that's enough of that. Oh, 40, so I got 15 seconds left. So anyway, it's just bullshit, you know? I got the 5% solution videos, I got the 50% virtual reality solution videos, I got all kinds of videos out there. So it's just a bullshit argument that I'm all invested in annihilating life on Earth. <laughs>